Hi there everybody, this is Westband for Westband Music. Today I would like to talk about uh, using MIDI control change data expression automation in order to um, amplify expression in the articulation of orchestral instruments. And we do so by taking another look at my, uh, my Bridgerton score entry, my orchestral piece, um, and take a look at the first opening scene in order to know what we're talking about my darling girl you are getting what you always wanted you are marrying for love okay what i mean is the flutes here carry the main melody supported by clarinet and uh oops yeah that is a lot of expression already and what you can see is this series of long and short notes and that is important. Let's take a look at the piccolo flute first and at the plugin because this is where actually the music happens, literally. Um, depending on the kind of library that you're using and depending on the kind of plugins, uh, how they respond, they are likely to offer certain articulations. For example, the possibility to switch between long and short notes. This may not be as relevant for, let's say, a synthesizer, but with orchestral instruments, not only does the length of the note change, but also the timbre often. So if you have a short note from a piccolo flautist, for example, uh, it's likely to sound sharper than a long note, not as soft, but more pronounced, more articulated, hence articulations. And these here are uh, this is BBC SO Discover since I'm on a budget. I mean, with higher tier libraries, you have a lot more um, articulations, especially for the strings. Also here for some of the other instruments, um, there are more than two articulations for the strings. For example, there are four. Let's take a real quick look here for strings, violins. Um, oh yeah, okay, sorry. The violins have uh, offer four articulations. So there's um, long notes, spiccato, pizzicato, tremolo, which are unique playing techniques. Long and spiccato are played, and also tremolo are played using the bow. Pizzicato, either your, your fingertips or the back of the bow, and so on and so forth. So these techniques vary greatly between instruments and um, orchestral uh, sections so uh, you wanna you wanna introduce those as realistically as possible and that's being facilitated by using MIDI CC control changes so let's go back to the flute here, fl uh, flutes here um, long notes short notes but also these two handles here this is expression and this is dynamics and depending on well I have them assigned to what is it controller 14 and 15 by default there are on 11 and 1 11 standing for expression midi control 11 for expression and midi control 1 for um in this case uh, assigned to dynamics usually it's modulation by the way this is um, a standardized um, list of, of midi control change that it doesn't vary between manufacturer this is a standard you can find it use google or any search engine and look for MIDI CC list and then you find the list of uh, numbers and what they do. Number one, for example, is modulation. Number seven is uh, volume, 11 is expression and so on and so forth. Okay, and you can assign those MIDI control change numbers or data to any of the hardware. Um, if you have a MIDI controller, here in my case it's one um, keyboard. You can also purchase uh, separate MIDI controllers only for expression, modulation, volume, and so on. Uh, There's a piece of hardware that might sound a little bit more fine-grained than my keyboard here, but I, I got this, and so I, I use it as much as I can. And this is why I uh, attributed um, you know, MIDI control 14 to expression and 15 to dynamics, because they are sitting on these two knobs here on my keyboard. And as you, can, as you can see, if I operate those and those handles move, start moving, and hang on. 
So if I move them as I'm playing the notes, hear the flute, you can hear a change in sound, can you? And also in volume, of course. And this is what you are looking at. Uh, this is what you want to achieve if, uh, if you want to play the instrument as authentically as possible using a keyboard instead of a real instrument. So um, let's say we were to support the flute parts by the oboe. I mean, we already have the clarinet. Let's switch that off for a second here. And let's say we were to... Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, it was at zero. Okay, so let's record this. One may say modesty is a all right. A little late, everything. I was not on time. So, uh, of course, this time I didn't have uh, another third hand in order to operate the key switches. I could do so by simply placing them there later in order to have better uh, staccato notes. But let's let's just work with this for a minute here. I mean, these should be shorter staccato notes, and they should also sound different uh, by using the other articulation. So I need to decide what I want to do, you know, play, uh, use articulation, uh, I mean, um, key switches with the left hand, or use expression and uh, dynamics. In this case, I chose in favor of uh, dynamics. But if we re-record this using the key switches, let's try this. Sorry, it's too late. One may say modesty is mistake. So this time I use the key switches here that are outside of the range of the instrument, so they don't actually produce a note, but all they do is switch between long note and staccato note. If we take a look at the plugin here and uh, run this part again in isolation, you can see how it switches back and forth here. Can you see that? And that's uh, being facilitated by using those key switches down here are highlighted. The blue note is the long note, the green note is uh, staccato, and this way I get to switch between long and, and short notes. So I can use either or, or if I have a third hand I could do it all at once. Um, but what we can do is, for example, come back and then introduce the expression later on by uh, switching this around here, this handle, and switch it into slash then in this case once more okay let's go back yep So I didn't record the notes all over again, only the expression data. And where is it being recorded? Or where, where to? If we take a look at the editor here, there are these two new tracks uh, with expression and dynamics. And you can see here, that's actually the movements of the knobs here. Let's bring up the plugin once more. So expression goes up and down, 
and dynamics in the same way. Okay, so you can split up the process into first concentrating on uh, you know good performance using key switches in order to employ the uh, articulations, and then later on for uh, fine tuning, you get to record the automation data by using um, this handle here, switching over to latch. Should work in touch as well, but for some reason didn't do it either in the first run. So you wanna uh, switch to latch. All right, I hope this was helpful. And uh, if you think it was, then please consider subscribing to my channel, ding the notification bell to get uh, notified about new content. Come back and if you have questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I uh, hope to see you soon. This is Westbound for Westbound Music. Bye-bye.